Why, hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. This is a Taku Showboat with a naughty Ollie behind me today. Mr. Mr. Naughty is behind me on this day. He wants to get into my lap, but he's not going to get lap at all the entire day today. He's he's not going to he's not going to get lap time today. Today is Sunday, April 7th, 2024. And today, Mr. Cat, Mr. Cat got into my sliced bread this morning. He, 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 I, I had kept it in a different spot on top of my mini fridge today, rather than all the way on top of the bookcase that's uh, in the den back there. And Mr. Cat jumped on top of my mini fridge grabbed what was left of the loaf of bread, clawed into the loaf of bread, broke broke the packaging, clawed into it, and started eating one of the pieces, the slices of bread. He ate the bread. He ate it. He ate it. There was no other pieces, no crumbs on the on the floor. He didn't just destroy the bread. He he ate the bread. This cat. He ate the bread. So he's not going to get lap time today. Because he, he, he ruined the rest of my loaf of bread that I had. I literally just bought and have another loaf of bread and another loaf of I have like two full loaves of bread besides that one. But, you know, the biggest crime one can commit against me is to mess around with my food. I, I, I will hate you for a very long time. So... He's not getting lap time today for, for, for messing with my food. With with my food. He did the thing and he messed with my food. Yeah. Holly cap. So. How are things otherwise? Okay-ish. Uh, only have one sale thus far for the, for the weekend. For, uh, for the, for the 3D print stuff. I bought a, uh, UMD 20 slot tray. So that's going to go. That's going to go out tomorrow. We'll see what else I manage to sell between now and then. Um, on my to-do list this week, actually, will be a bit of, uh, will be a bit of shopping. Actually, I've, uh, I believe I'll have some money coming in that will allow me to get some more materials that I need as he as he desperately tries to tell me that he wants to be in my lap. Yes, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ollie cat. Why are you why are you putting your paws on my back? You're putting your paw on my back? Yes. Yes, Ollie. You're 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 highly distracting back there. Yes, and he's and he's purring. He's purring too. Yes. What's what's up there, huh? You rubbing my head now? What's up there? What's up on top of my head, huh? Oh, you're rubbing. Now you're rubbing, huh? Now you're rubbing. You're a rubber bubber. <gasps> Ollie cat. This is what he's doing now. Lately. To to try to get into my lap, but he's not he's not gonna get my lap today. Not after not after eating destroying and eating my bread. Yeah, see, that's not gonna happen. Not happening. No no. So I've got to order more supplies for the 3D printing stuff this week. That's my that's my plan, is I'm gonna actually get in hand the uh color options that I have on Etsy, the uh green orange and purple filaments and restock on any of my others that I need. Uh, I will, I ideally would like to have at least two rolls of each color on hand with enough on them to do my biggest prints uh, so that I could have both of my main printers running. I've been thinking about using the 
original, my original small Ender 3 S1 uh, for vase mode prints. I've, I've been considering this for, for the some items that I still have that are vase mode prints. Uh, smaller displays now. I have the really big ones. I might bring the really big ones back if, if I can use the Ender 3 and print thicker walls with it. Because I have, I have nozzles for that up to one millimeter nozzle diameter, which means that I can have a wall thickness a little bit greater than one millimeter. The problem with the Ender 3 S1 specifically is its volumetric flow rate is very low, and for vase mode you need to be even slower. You need to print even slower than that. So. Any vase mode print I have with thicker walls like that is going to take a very, very long time to print each item. And I would be stuck using that one machine for an entire order, basically. So if someone comes in and wants to order like four of the like 16 slot Game Boy Advance uh, stand, which I took off because of some issues I was having with uh, it bending in over time. Uh, thicker walls would help with that, help prevent that. But if it takes three hours per each and someone buys like five of them, three hours or more, maybe five hours, I haven't really sliced it with the, with that in setup for the uh, Ender 3, but yeah, if it takes like that long each times five, like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's my, that's my thought on that. I don't know if I'll uh, be doing that uh, at all, but the stuff things, but on my agenda is to look into printing thicker walls on my base mode prints, but the whole point behind the designs of the base mode prints was that it was using less material, A, and B, it prints faster. And if you lose the prints faster, then why have it base mode in the first place, really? Because uh, if you're, if, if you, if you're going to go through the effort of having it be a slower print, then it may as well be a solid. You know, sort of like this thing behind me. That, that nine slot Game Boy Advance size thing, yeah, that's a solid. It's effectively replacing the vase mode one. I still have offered the vase mode version of that, but that's bigger and sturdier, a little more expensive, but still solid. So that's about it. Some of the things that are on my agenda eventually uh, is to get different cartridges and make designs for storage and display for different types of cartridges that I do not currently have on hand, like original Nintendo NES cartridges, uh, like the uh, tall Sega Genesis cartridges, the, the EA ones that are uh, thinner. They're not, they're not as wide as the standard Sega Genesis cartridges. He's, he's grooming now. He's just, he's just lickies. He's just lickies back there. Um, not sure what else. There's, there's other cartridges that exist that I could try to get at least one of to, uh, have for measurements and display for when I take photos, uh, of items. Just different things I want to think about getting so I can design new things and have new designs and more designs. Uh, and I... I'm going to get more filaments that I have the ability to print and prototype additional designs going forward here. So I really want to, I really want to increase my, my listing count with new items. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I'm at with the, with the 3d printing stuff in general at the moment. Uh, outside of that, I've been playing games. Of course, I've been continuing with Honkai Star Rail. I am in the eternal grind for relics and planar ornaments at the moment. Uh, better 
versions of the planar ornaments at the moment for uh, my supporting characters for my Acheron team. Uh, so for Pella and for Silverwolf, uh, I am I am trying to grind them Penacani planar relics, which are not the best option for this team, but it's fine. But it's fine. Uh, that ornament set gives them a 5% energy recharge increase, which is part of the point, but the other point is that it increases damage of other characters that have the same element as that character that it's equipped to. Uh, so you need other teammates that have the same element, of which Akron is not the same element as Pella and Silverwolf. Pella is ice and Silverwolf is quantum. Yes, quantum is an element. So is imaginary. But anyway, I may use those characters on teams where I would have a correct support. Uh, and I'd rather not have multiple. I I'm not at a point where I want to think about having multiple ornament sets for an individual character when I could just as well have been grinding an ornament set for an additional character. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. Acheron absolutely makes doing the uh, simulated universe runs for planar ornaments absolutely trivial when her technique literally deletes standard mobs off the map without having to actually do the fights. So it, it makes him very fast now and actually genuinely worth the time to do them. They still take longer than any other way of spending stamina in the game, but it's easier with her. I'm glad to have Agaron with her signature light gun. I'm very, very happy uh, about that. Uh, Jing Lu is coming in like 10 days, 9 days uh, with a Venturine. And I would like to try to get Jing Lu, but we'll see. If I do, it would be great. She's the best DPS in the game. Like, the best, number number one. And she's ice. And Pella pairs with her very well. So yeah, that's that's Star Rail. Azure Lane, continue, continuing to play. Uh, last time I was complaining about not getting... Kaga, yet I got Kaga that day. <laughs> later later that day, I got Kaga. Uh, so now I can move on to other different grinds uh, of the main story maps. Uh, I pushed through uh, World 5, completed World 5, unlocked hard mode World 5. Um, and have worked been working on trying to get the battle monitors from 4-3 that's that's like the, the grind that i'm on now is to get uh two purple characters not fortunately not super rares but uh still purple characters from 4-3 uh as per and they, they are specifically battle monitor ships think destroyers with battleship guns and you're you're sort of on the right track. Um, they are designed to have lower oil costs, lower stamina costs for uh, mob fleet grinding. So it's for specifically grinding maps for for drops. That's that's what they're meant for. Without having to spend a whole bunch of stamina, they're supposed to save on that over time. So I would like to get those. Those are those are those would be nice. Char characters are always good to get. Um, characters are always good to get, and you know, there's a current like rate up banner for new characters that uh, uh, I've managed to actually pull the uh, the Nubian Nubian uh, destroyer, who is apparently pretty good. Apparently pretty good. So now I have another character to grow <laughs> of many, many, many. And, uh, yeah, Laffy, now I got, uh, the modernization on, so she's, she's retrofit. Uh, still one more node to get that unlocks a skill, but finally, finally was able to get her retrofit done. Um, 
and she is the most built character on the account right now. Um, there's missions to build Portland to level 100 that I still need to do, but I and I got all the retrofit nodes that I needed for that mission. But once I once I finish getting her to 100 for those missions, she's dropped. Like I I will have no point in using her. Uh, she'll be used specifically for uh, the uh, like AFK commission stuff. Um, speaking of AFK, AFK journey, I have continued to play, and I am at uh, I just this morning managed to clear AFK stage 300 and get into uh, Dark Forest 5 of 6, I believe. Uh, which is chapter 2. Basically, it's like chapter 2-5 of two, of 6 uh, on, the, on the map. So, that is pretty nice. Uh, I have been getting a lot of characters. I did buy the battle pass and the initial monthly pass so similar to how i did with and do with star rail every month but I'm, i don't know how much i'll continue with this there's there's the monthly thing the 30-day thing that's five dollars and then the the battle pass is apparently three months long 90 days long uh and it's 15 so I figured if it's if it's 15 every three months with a five, that that's somewhat okay for a you know a live service game that's going to get constant content updates that has a lot of content to chew through that I can play for free just a way to you know pay for the entertainment that I'm getting out of it. So there's that. Uh, joined a guild, did that too. Uh, getting getting all the rewards for being in the guild, being. <laughs> <clears throat> being among the the top contributors of the guild um for the moment for the moment among the top i won't say the the top but i'm definitely like the one the the one that's like on some leaderboards uh for the server that's ranking relatively high not pvp but the the pve stuff somewhat somewhat highly ranked mostly in the in the top 200 to 100 most of the time but not not going to be top rank i don't have infinite money to throw at the game to be top rank but anyway anyway that's that's that uh, i have been enjoying afk journey clearly because i i put money into it um and i like that it has it has this constant progression regardless of whether or not you're playing the game and i like that if you're stuck you can just wait you can play casually and over time you will get strong enough at some point to progress through or you can bash your head against the wall several hundred times until you eventually win or you can look like really learn strategies, watch replays, emulate replays to get through the AFK stages at lower power level, uh, which I have definitely been doing, uh, to try to progress a bit faster. So, yeah. It's, it's nice that it, it has this ability to progress through tactics as well as to progress by just waiting until you can brute force it. Ah, <sighs> all right. A any hoozles? Still, still have concerns about the monetization system. I think there's a bit too much pay to win in it. Um, a a bit too much though. Some of the comments I made last time not as bad as I initially thought, because while yes, you get rewards for ranking highly that are progression rewards. On highly on leaderboards for specific things like the the PVE content and the PvP content. Those rewards are actually really small compared to what you get for like for the PVE thing for like beating the boss. 
like the process of beating the boss, hitting milestones on the uh, HP progression gives way more rewards than you will ever get for ranking highly on the on the leaderboards compared to like ranking somewhat lower on the leaderboards like the, the difference is not that extreme it gets you some stuff earlier but it's not as big of an advantage as i originally thought it would be because it is it is actually pretty small by comparison uh, to what anyone can get at any time just by just by playing the content so anyway that is as they say that it's time to play the game it's time to play factorio shorter this time hallelujah shorter shorter beginning of the stream this time i had to ban someone for being very rude about uh how long i take at the at the beginning of the stream uh before starting the gameplay like i do i do need to spend some time at the beginning for folks to you know arrive and for twitch to go through the initial set of ads so we're here for at least 10 minutes or so but uh yeah neat i should try to speed up a little a little bit through that initial stuff i just i just have thoughts on my mind and want to want to express them i have thoughts i must express at the beginning of each stream so I will express them, and no amount of complaining will change that, ever. And if you got problems with it, don't watch it. Goodbye. I will never see you again. Anyway, uh, last time we met, we were working on getting into uh, latex and rubber, theoretically. Uh, I, I say theoretically because we basically have to work from scratch uh, on that, uh, which means making a few things still. Uh, what did we even make last time? Wood. Yes, we made we made wood. We we got the molten glass moving last time, so that's that's pretty nice. That's, that is nice. Did we really do anything outside of wood? I don't remember. It may have just been wood, actually. Uh, no, CO2, moss, and wood. That's what it was. So set up the CO2 factory out of Moondrop in here, providing that onto the train network, providing moss, onto the train network in builds that I specifically designed to be tileable within the square to try to maximize the use of the space of the square as best I can uh, currently. How much, uh, how much of this do I have? A bit. I, I want to place some landfill. Specifically, yeah. Uh, and ya. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, I may want to actually fill this part in because there's that Omnite there. The rest of these don't have infinite Omnite. None, none of these squares would have infinite Omnite in them. This square has infinite Omnite. I'll fill this in so that I know that that's accessible that's accessible let's fill in fill in this stuff here just paint our way through all right so we needed the wood which for whatever reason I've still got some gaps on occasion here. It's supposed to be 15 per second output. Oh well. May just be taking its sweet time to spool up here. 
We needed wood for Frauk food. Uh, as well as moss. Uh, and we'll need native flora as well. So we need to have a... We'll need to make a native flora factory. Uh, and we need to have Fawagi. So we need to build a Fawagi factory as well. Uh, toying with the idea of sodium hydroxide and or cellulose factory. Separate from the rock food. I'll need an agar factory as well. And I'll need tin. So we need a... Uh, yeah, we need, we need cellulose, agar, fauge, and tin factories to make the rock food. So that's what we're going to be working on today, primarily. Uh, you know, infrastructure permitting, I will get these things. Uh, so I've got the fauge. That's that that I have. That, that exists uh, by making some automation science locally here. Uh, we are waiting on the Vrauk upgrade tech to process in order to pick up the uh, productivity upgrade for the Vrauk paddocks as well. All right. Well then. Do not need to look at the moss here anymore. Because we have it. Uh, we will need more of it, though, I think, because, eh, nah, we'll have, we'll have just enough. We'll have just enough. So we need all of this for Vrauk, and we need the Vrauk for formic acid to make the rubber. Like, all of this is just to get the Vrauk for formic acid for rubber. Mm-hmm. All, all of this work that we've been doing here. Uh, starting last stream, has been in this process to get rubber on the trains. And there's more work to do, even after getting the, the formic acid, we'll need other things uh, available on the trains as well. Alright. Step one. What do I want step one to be? Uh, let's do ten. Let's do ten again. Do I want molten tin on the train network? Eventually, yes, I will need molten tin on the train network. Do I want it out of hot air? Oh god, that's an eternal question. I go, how much hot air do you want or need? Infinity. Infinity. That's how much we need. Uh, where is that guy? I can bring in red hot coke and just make the coke. Right. Like that. You out of that. You out of that. Is that correct? think so. Oh yeah, this ends up with regular tailings. That's a lot of tailings. All things considered, that's a lot of tailings, actually. Ah. So I need tailings specifically so I can get Nexlet, and the more I can get, the more Nexlet I'll have available to me. Uh, Nexlet will be a very limiting resource for a very long time. We have 
We have Ollie on the chair behind me still. Yes, Ollie cat. Still behind me. Ate my bread on me. Destroyed my loaf. Ah. Anyway, um... This is good, yes? As is. I think so. I'll need more than 15, 10, but whatever. It's fine for now. There's something to be said about converting the crushed stone to stone because I can stack the stone for voiding. That thought has occurred to me because I can't stack the crushed stone. Hmm. Hama. Hama, 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 You can convert to using red hot coke. For that coke. For the acetylene. And that would mean that I would not need to have the acetylene itself tied to an infinite Omnite patch. And this is fine, because I will be getting more Red Hot Coke uh, when I do eventually... I'm sorry, what now? Oh. Uh, you know, that would help. Yeah, that would help just a bit. When I eventually need to increase the amount of coke oven gas for hot air, I will end up with a lot of Red Hot Coke. Like, as it stands, I have a full yellow belt of throughput of Red Hot Coke and the full amount of Coke that that can make, which is pretty significant. So this is a very easy copy-paste here in this particular build to, you know, double that. A very, very easy copy-paste. And that would give me a second belt of Red Hot Coke to process. Anyway, things build, please. Build things, please. This needs to be at a source of Omnite. Oh boy. Yet again. Uh, let me do that. View. How do I want you here? Yeah, that's out of the way. Or erase. Yeah, there's another person who had been watching for a while, who I unfortunately also had a ban recently off of uh, Discord. Because um, they DM'd me a question a while ago. I answered publicly and have stated again that, uh, and will state again, that I will not respond to private messages or, like, random questions. Uh, if you if you have questions, be public, uh, and I will answer answer publicly. And I answered on my Discord. And then the other day, out of the blue, I get a message saying thanks for nothing. All right, sure. Enjoy the ban. I totally answered your question on my Discord which you are on. 
That is not my fault for your lack of paying attention. That's what I was using for the for the ores. To remove the ores. Clean up the ores. Effectively, that's that's what I had to interpret was what was the question. Because it was not worded right well. Was not worded well. But my interpretation was that they were asking about the the, the ore eraser thing. Which is ore eraser. And I have modified it. Uh, to add the infinite Omnite, or to add the regular Omnite or uh, as a uh, filter in here. So under or eraser, we have Omnite, Omnimatter. This, this entry I added manually myself into or eraser uh, on Omnite. And this is not the first time I've gone over this. I have I have talked about this multiple times already. Alright, what do we need? A lot of power. That's the other that's the other thing I need to keep in mind is that I am not gonna... I, I don't have infinite power here. Not at the moment. I'll need to go out of my way and build another set of infrastructure for, for power soon. Soon-ish. Right, so what do we need to be brought in? We need the borax. We need red hot coke. We need sand castings. And we need the hot air. That is it. As far as I'm aware, that's it for now. We could always tack on more onto this station when we notice we need something else. Alright, so down here. Mining. Into box. We need 33 and a third ore per second. We need two, huh? Where is... take this. I'll need two of it. Oh boy. And I will attempt to design this as I have before uh, in a cubic or elongated rectangle pattern going down below. Uh, this will need some uh, voiding operations built into it. And filters. And I will need two of it. Or I can just do one main voiding operation at the end. 
because I will end up with stone as a byproduct as well from one of these steps. Um, uh, see the slight issue here. Holy moly. This whole thing here. All right, that is. That is what we need here. That is what we need for this tin. Do I want it to be tin, or should I just make it into the uh, native flora? Because we'll need something basically identical to this with native flora. I'll just need to keep that in mind later. Something I can just copy paste. How much does six make? Oh, crud. I forgot about that. We can't, uh, we don't have the ability to stack the crude ores here. 
You know, there is a setting to make this easier that would uh, just give me the ores without having to convert the ores with the fluid, the mining fluid on it. There, There is a setting if you don't want to deal with the mining fluid stuff. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> huh. I could always make the argument that there, there, there is a good performance reason for not needing to use the uh, mining fluids because then you you save the infrastructure on producing the mining fluid as well as you save the infrastructure on this step to convert from crude to ore, but, you know, if you use that argument, you could use that argument about, uh, the whole thing. The whole, the whole game. Everything in the game can use that argument. It's like, well, if you want, if you want the best performance, then you should just build nothing. Just build nothing, bro. And then you'll have the best performance in the game. It's just nothing. You build nothing. Mm. So there, there has to be a line somewhere. And, uh, this isn't one I would like to cross. There are other lines I absolutely cross, but this is not one of them. Seventeen. Do that in line fourteen. Again, I want to keep it mostly squared. So extending it down is not ideal. Uh, so 18 is 9. Rows of 9. 2 rows of 9. Guess I have to do... And I need the, uh, the steam infrastructure as well. Steam, glorious steam. Uh, that's not going to work. It's better. Or I could do it down here. Uh, it's a bit close, though. Eh. Yeah. That. And then the water itself. Is that I want it to be somewhat squared off. 
guess this time we're gonna go rectangular this way rather than rectangular this way. All right. Every five is 10. seem to need more omni tractors oh boy am I close enough to grab any if I've made any not quite and I need exactly three. Oh boy yes we're going back to the mall for a restock Oh, and I ended up parking way down here. Somewhere. Way back there. Oh, boy. Could you, could you, could you go there, please? Alright, off we go. Back to the mall. Give me these so I can handcraft some. I, remember, I will need a bunch of I will need a bunch of stuffs and things for native flora in particular and we'll need titanium so I'll need a bunch for the titanium as well, but that's that's later. I'll build the titanium when I'm directly working on rubber, uh, since that's part of a separate step to make the rubber. You know, um, yeah, this whole thing needs to move. Uh, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, uh, there's there's this little thing called outputs that we need from this, one to one. Yeah, that would uh, that would help. Outputs would help things. How in the world am I going to do this? Guess like that. Uh, then you cut, move over one inputs there. That will have to do. Could it be another tile tighter? Yes. Yes. At least if I were to move this up here. But I don't care at this point. I don't think I need to save one tile. Uh, damn 
that does make this a little awkward, but oh well. Okay, we have ore. A lot of it. In a pretty compact place, space, here. Next, we need to process this ore. I need a lot of infrastructure, don't I? That I have not built. Yeah, I thought as much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here I am, building a factory. I, don't, I didn't even go and, you know, make the infrastructure that I need. So we're going back to the mall, because this is going to probably take a few minutes. And, so, you know, we need uh, 35 screeners. Yeah, and 15 ball mills, 15 washers, four electric arc furnaces. Yeah, we need a... Uh, need a lot. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go and, like... Take all of my iron, take all of my copper, and most of my steel. But the main thing that's going to be lacking, yeah, are circuits. Uh, I'm going to have to, again, steal all of the circuits in all of these boxes. many boxes as have circuits. I must steal them. Yes, that includes from the continued production or attempted production of robots and splitters, but you know, I, I need infinite splitters and so it's going to take a while before those start accruing anything. Certers. That is all of the circuits that I have. I have made 10 automated screeners. 20, 30, 5. Okay, that's 35 screeners. I need 15 ball mills and 15 washers. Well, the washers are basically free, so I'll actually build a bit more of those. I need 10 more of the, those, but uh, that's steel. That's all the ball mills. And then there was these guys, secondary crushers. I need eight secondary crushers. And I need four arc furnaces that's it that's all the buildings actually had enough circuits which is a good sign because that tells me that the time it takes for me to build a factory is the time it takes to accrue enough circuits to build the infrastructure for the next factory. Generally, is that's how it seems right now. It's, it's taking me enough time to physically build a factory to allow resources to accrue for building the next factory. Now, should it be better? Yes. Yes, it should. I should actually have all of these buildings ready to go in the mall to just have the bots bring them to me when I need them. But we're not at that point yet where the production can support that. The production cannot currently support it, which, yes, sucks, but that is literally the thing that I am working on right now. Like, 
the end goal is not rubber. It's circuit ones at scale. At, at higher scale, or at least the same, to double my amount available of the circuits. Why go through rubber? Because it's involved with getting the batteries. Ah. Uh, at least I think it is. Hello? Batteries? Do I even... Did I even need the things? If I want more circuits? Am I just doing this to do this? Why do I need more rubber? Right now. Well, either way, I need 10 for the circuits. Like, don't get me wrong, even if I do shift to that. Like, I do, I do still need this 10. Uh, I'll need zinc as well. 10 zinc. I have glass. I'll need lead and antimony. And I will need uh, aug manure for the urea. Which, you know, at this moment in time, I could probably just do this and have the batteries at least. And that would mean I could go and directly do additional circuits. Why was rubber on my mind? Because it appears I do have enough. I might shift gears from the from the rubber stuff. Do I regret this? No. That, what, what I've done so far? No. Because I am going to need all of this stuff. I am going to need the wood. But I might shift from Rauk to Augs. That's that's a thing. Uh, because Aug manure at scale. Uh, we have access to Aug food, which is Relesia, not Falagi. Okay, well. Is that new? I don't know. Also, it's not using tin. Interesting. It's using plastic instead, which is a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a problem. Also, a lot of buildings for a single factory. I should have release, yeah. I have I have release, yeah. It's it's here, but that is a significant infrastructure cost. And power cost for the hydrogen. And it's a lot of buildings. Uh, the, don't, don't take this as one-to-one -one with real time. I've, I've been running the game faster than one-to-one. -one. Just, just know that I beat this, uh, that I beat Pi like five times. That this is nothing. This is this is still early game. Early mid game, but still early, 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 very early. Uh yeah. So I don't know what I'll what I what I want to do here. Cause that'll be a slog, as well. That that'll be a lot of work. Developed that many Relizia plantations. I mean, I mean that many Relizia plantations.
Let's get that much manure. Have, might have it. That's a bit more manageable. That's all a bit more manageable, but it also requires plastic. Uh, do I have a plastic available at this tech level? Yes, out of melamine. The irony that you can get plastic out of melamine, but you need the AUG manure to get the melamine in the first instance uh, at this phase of the game. Oh joy. Oh bliss. I have to unlock Corlax before I can get that tech, and that's not happening. So, yeah, unfortunately that's the only one that really exists right now, and yeah, that would mean an aromatics factory, which I will need to do anyway, like, as for rubber, so, eh. Not an insignificant amount, by the way, of this aromatics. That's a bit of tar. Yeah, I think this is the plan now. I need the 10. I do need the 10. We're going to finish the 10. Uh, but we're going to shift to more circuits because I think that is a better thing to do first. Is shift to circuits through through standard batteries. So, standard batteries for circuits for... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, for more infrastructure, so I can do the other things with the rubber and such. For, for, better, for faster infrastructure production, I do need circuits. We are circuit limited right now on that front. Uh, so I will need lead and tin and antimony. Uh, so... Oh god, yeah, just... You need a lot of infrastructure to build more infrastructure, wouldn't you know? And among all this, I will need to build another set of uh, power. Uh, as well, a new, a new infrastructure for power. Additional infrastructure for power, which is going to be... Oh uh, yeah, I need 13 of these. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... Eleven, not thirteen. Circuits. Oh god, that's a lot. Uh, anyway, for now, I'm going to build this. Twenty of you. In sets of five. I suppose. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. on YouTube. Now we're going to try to build this to not extend past here, ideally. Conveniently, I have lines that are sets of, uh, th that I've divided this into four. We have 18, and that can do 16.66 repeating. Cool. We'll get two of these. We'll get four of these. And yet again, I've I've done the thing where I've not put the output before copy pasting. Oh 
I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there because that makes that gives me some room for filtering. My one concern is that this is uh a bit long, a bit wide for just one step like this. This is going to produce grade one and grade two. Ten. Missing an output. Ah, yes. Right there. There we go. Got it fixed. Okay, so this gives grade one and grade two. The grade two processes down to grade one and 14 of these. That's lovely. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to cancel those. That should give me enough. Uh, so something that I built ate my jaw crushers. And it looks like I'll have to bite it. I'll have to bite the bullet and go a little bit further down if I want seven. And now, this is somewhat wasted space. I just have to live with it for now. Well, I say somewhat wasted space. If I copy paste from the top here, right? Like the uh, the belts fill that space. So, like the belts are filling that space. So, if I do need want to copy paste the build, well, yeah, it could actually fit right there, very smoothly. It can just go right below. quite easily and it uses some of that space there that being said there's still the uh, stone that needs to be voided which um, would have to cross the line so I might have it like one tile down just to provide a uh, route for the stone to go through but or it'll be one yeah it would be like coming across here. Because, yeah, spoilers, it's going to meet up with the stone. It's going to be output from here. And then void it, uh, which means I will need, you know, the ability to void. Ah, boy, the ability to burn. We need to burn. Burn, 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 burn. All of the things. I need to shift the whole thing one tile over. Stone to the right. 
stacked. Yeah. You think I put two letters on the same jaw crusher? Uh. Ah. There. That was one tile off. Ah. Huh. That happened. They're just. Guess I shifted my mouse as I was clicking. Okay, that looks correct. Whole thing gets copied here. Great. Uh, so, the, the wonderful question is, in this amount of space, am I able to build the rest of the factory? I don't think so. I don't think the rest of the factory fits in here. Sorry to say. We need another... 45. Plus... 2, 8, 4, and 1. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to provide 10 grade 4. Why? Oh, you're not the one. You're not the one. I just provide the tin dust. If I can if I can get to the tin dust, I'll provide the tin dust. Or the grade one. I mean the grade one does have a use. How's it playing pie with Omni? Uh moderately easier than standard pie. I say moderately easier just because there is a uh there there are a couple of things that are more difficult, but there's also a lot of things that are significantly easier about it. The, the, the two main things that are more difficult are that, or number one is Nexalit. Nexalit is god awful now um, because they don't, they don't actually give you an Omnite to Nexalit recipe. You must get it from tailings always. Until you can do the drilling fluid recipe, since you don't have the ore nodes to mine. And you don't have any Nexlet ore to mine either. They just don't have it. Uh, number two is that rare earth ore is based off of the mining recipe for rare earth ore on the standard ore patches. So all of the rare earth ore needs naphtha to process it rather than basing it off of, you know, the way that everyone gets rare earth in regular pie, which is the node that doesn't need to be provided any fluids. Just power. There's the rare earth bolide. You use a mine on the rare earth bolide, and that's how you get all of your rare earth ore in a standard, normal playthrough of pie. But here, it is effectively as if we are mining it from the ore patches, which is significantly more difficult and less efficient. So those are the two things that are more difficult. However, there is definitely something to be said about it being much, 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 much easier to just get whatever ore you need at the place that you need it. You know, 
So definitely something to be said about that. Same with, uh, you know, Omniston being a thing that exists that I can just convert into tar on demand. Tar and crude oil and natural gas directly rather than uh, rather than raw gas. That's one. That's one thing that has not been updated with Omni. The uh, conversion of raw gas into natural gas is not required at all in the entire game. Because uh, yeah, the only way to get raw gas is to use the uh, is to use the pump jack recipes for it and spend small parts on it. Uh, and it's not required for anything other than converting it into natural gas, which you know, Omnison converts directly into natural gas. Which actually makes Arcods quite a bit more viable, you know? It, it, it act, that is actually a pretty big buff for Arcods, not gonna lie. Just being able to get the natural gas on demand for Arcods is stellar. It's really good and really nice. Uh... I am toying with the idea of providing actually the grade 1 tin in this factory onto the train network as grade 1 tin rather than any further processing uh, because, uh, well, newsflash, we're going to be needing uh, phytoplankton. Uh, tin grade 1. So phytoplankton needs tin grade one at the recipe that I currently have available to me. There are there is another recipe at microbiology stage three, which is chem science, and that uses flue gas, and that is the permanent way. But that doesn't mean I don't need any now, so. Because we need some now, uh, that's what I'm going to do here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. So realistically, this is actually just a grade one factory. And then I will build a separate location that will take grade one in and process it into uh, plates. Because this factory as it stands, can be scaled very easily to give me more grade one. So that is precisely what I will do. This one I have to go a bit to the side. go. So once the, all this has power, it should just be a smooth operation. And I need to add voiding with uh, this line. Fuel, destacked fuel. way. Ah, uh, so yeah, this means I don't need any of these in this particular factory. Yeah, natural gas sucks at the scale you need it to have Arcods at scale. The, the best you get with Arcods, like, ever. Barely enough to get by. Have I looked at Pi Hard Mode? Uh, looked and... 
went nah. I've looked at it. We've had the person who made it here. They're they're one of the devs on Pi, actually. They they literally built it to be like the anti how I play. Like I'm I'm not really I'm not joking. They literally built it to counter the entire way that I play the game from start to finish. And uh, yeah, there's there's probably a reason why no one is playing it and why no no one's streaming it. It's probably for good reason. I, I I think it's for good reason. They're like, oh yeah, this guy does plays the game in this way and has beaten the game multiple times in this way. Maybe if we prevented that from being available, that that would be a way to have it be a hard mode. Like, yeah. And you know what happened? No one plays it. At the very least, no one streams it because it's that, yeah. It's not fun, actually, with that many restrictions. Restrictions are fine when self imposed, but, uh, you know, there's a reason why people play the way that I do, why I play the way I, that I do, and that's to, you know, actually have fun with the experience. Anyway, I need locomotives. I need more locomotives. Have I the ability to build more locomotives? No, because I need more vitriloy. Great. Yes, we gotta restock on some of that stuff. I mean, the guy who made it is sort of playing around with it, but I'm not making videos of it. I'm not even sure that the, uh, that the Pi hard mode is even, uh, beatable. Where's my... I've actually done this already. Where is it? It's here. Like, where's where's this? This is what I'm trying to grab. Oh. Really? The freaking power pole in the way. Is still in the way. Yep. That's better. Now, so I have that so I can, you know. No, no, no. Hold up. Zippa. There we go. We caught the train. How's Ollie? How's that? How's that cat behind my head? By the way, there's a cat behind my head. You, if, you, if you haven't noticed, we have we have Ollie cat behind my head. He was naughty today. Broke into my bread and ate it. Ugh, what was left of the loaf? Not all of it. He like he pulled out a slice and was chewing. He chewed the slice. 
How do I know that he was eating it when I didn't see him directly eating it? Because it wasn't any crumbs on the floor. There were no pieces on the floor. And it was clearly eaten. Chewed on. Ah, <sighs> all right. We've returned to uh, the mall and are getting some restocking gone uh, and done here. Oh, there's actually, there's actually a couple of shafts making their way in. Huh, but where are they going? That's a, a great question. Or give it to me. I can do a better job of using it to make a, make a locomotive. Oh, I need brakes, right. Oh, you know, I, I need these, these things? Brakes? Yeah. Gib, gib trains. Thanks. Well, you know, I have a, I have a pretty big chair. The, the, the back of the chair is huge. Yeah, back of the chair is huge. Huge. So it's a good bed. It's a bed basically up here. And you know this this particular chair was made by a bed company. I think this is I think it's a Serta. This the specific chair. We've had it for a very long time. A very long time. I was yeah, I was still in primary education when we originally got this chair. I think we got it when I was in high school or entering high school. <laughs> I mean, it's been, yeah, it's been a while, been a while for this specific one. But Kitty likes it. The kitty enjoys it. But he's not. He's not getting lap time today because he, because uh, he ate my food, and that's not okay. He, he. That's that's the that's the greatest sin one can commit against me is to. Uh, eat or otherwise destroy my food. Uh, but anyway, uh, it is time to take a break. Uh, I will be back in just a few minutes.
and I have returned. Welcome back. The the Mr. Cat is still up on the chair. The oh, they, they, they reconnected. We had a we had a we had a blip. We had a blip on non connection. Just saw it go through. Uh, yeah, Miss Mrs. Cat was actually out up on the counter in my bathroom. I brought her down to the living room area to do the cat tree. Well, she we'll see if she decides that she wants to come say hi today. I figured if I tried to take her down here to put her on the desk next to me, she's just going to immediately leave. <laughs> so I just took her to the to the cat tree. Oh, goodness. We need a new cat tree. Just, uh, just as a side note, at some point, I've been talking about this for like a couple of years now. We sort of need a new cat tree. Since, uh, they, the, the, the cats sort of destroyed their cat tree. Um, yeah. But it's old. We got, we got this cat tree when we got coal. Our previous cat. When when we got Cole, when we adopted Cole, is when we got this cat tree. And uh, we weren't even living in this house. Like that, it wasn't even like this. Not even in this house was that a uh, was that a thing. It's like, ooh, it was twenty twelve, twenty twelve, twelve years, twelve years. Almost to the day, because, yeah, I, I think it was in April when we adopted Cole and we had gotten the cat tree ahead of time. So, yeah. Twelve years. And now, uh, yeah, these, these cats have front claws and sharpened them on it and have completely ripped it to shreds. They have ripped up the carpeting of the of the cat tree to actual shreds and threads and like strings of plastic. And there is an actual scratcher part that was coiled rope around a post, and uh, yeah, it's not coiled anymore. They have uh, they have ripped the rope on it. The actual scratcher part has been demolished as well. Um, yeah, the only thing is we're we're not going to pay a hundred and ninety dollars for a new cat tree. That's that that that's not something that's going to happen. This one is still it it can still perform its primary function as an elevated bed next to the next to the uh couch and so that it shall remain until one day we get them a new cat tree but that time is not soon <laughs> until then we get little piles of carpeting all over the place around the tree all right, new place to build. Next spot to build factory. New new square to build up in. To build up in, we'll go here. And this is where we will continue with the tin. So today's a tin factory, mostly. Didn't want it to really just be a tin factory today. I wanted to get all of it done and move on and probably get latex, but no, plans change. Plans have changed. No, we're gonna be, we're, we're trying to scale circuits now. <laughs> Cause I, I need more, I, I need infinite circuits and uh, yeah, I, don't really need the rubber for the circuits as it turns out. 
So I don't know. I don't know exactly why I wanted rubber as the next thing before getting circuits. I'm trying to remember why I wanted the rubber. That's the next thing. Because it, it doesn't make any sense. That's the next thing. Not not particularly. Yes, it's it's needed, but not really as the next thing. It's weird. It's just odd. How many circuits am I going to need for the stupid aug paddocks? Zero. Thank you, Lord. I need infinite soil, though. So let me, uh, let me go find this soil and be like, yo, warehouse, go. Fill warehouse with soil, please. Because I need a few aug paddocks. For the manure build. I should have a box of hogs also down here. Yes, there is a there is an a full box of hogs here. To use as the modules. Alright, so we need to bring in now grade one tin, the red hot coke, the uh uh borax the sand castings and the hot air whoops wrong line wrong line done all of that initial stuff is done uh, I will need all of the rest though red hot borax Sand castings and hot air, which actually is on the way, and that is supremely surprising. Oh, yeah, that I, I guess it shouldn't necessarily be that surprising, but yeah, it is to me for now. Uh, the, the reason it's not limited at the moment is that uh oh what oh you're you're just you're just out of yeah so the the reason is that there is a lack of enough molten glass to go around all of the factories that need molten glass uh, so even though it would be using way more hot air than I currently produce. I produce even less of the molten glass. So it's actually okay and it's still producing, this alone is still producing more hot air.
Also, keep in mind that this these the tanks are 400k now. They're 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 different. I I increased the value on the storage tanks here because as it turns out, the amount that these hold is configurable in the mod settings. The 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 long storage tanks sizes the the uh storage multiplier is scalable you can you can multiply the amount here you can like you you define the size of a train fluid wagon in this case i it, it defined it as 50,000 i defined it as 50,000 realistically speaking this should be you should define this i think as the size of the largest wagon type which i don't remember off the top of my head with pi fluid wagons i think it's a hundred k per wagon but they're smaller and there's two of them so it's actually like 200k i might be wrong it might be 75 I'd have to check. I I don't remember off the top of my head. And then this number gets multiplied by whatever this factor is, and I have set it to factor four, so it's, you know, a lot. It's it's a lot. It's uh yeah, it's four it's four hundred thousand is what it ends up being after whatever math it's doing in there. Because it's it's train wagon size times two and then times four. Because the this this is a two but by thirteen, so the the tank is two wagons times four, and the wagon size is five hundred k or fifty k. Excuse me. So it's fifty k times two times four for four hundred k. Ah. And if I built the bigger one, the longer one, then it would scale accordingly. Okay, what's step one here? I think it's actually the the quenching. I think I want to do the quenching first. I can't have I can have these like this and just do that and these. Apparently it's two each. Then wawa. Always need the wawa. Wawa 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 wawa. works I will need to demolish coal dust break that lower it uh, make sure that I am in fact aligned here along this line Ollie. Wait, what? Huh? Why did it not copy the thing? Where, where's the thing? It destroyed the thing. Why didn't it? What happened to the thing? Uh, I... Huh? The 
What? I know what happened. I, I deleted and I deleted too much. Anyway, that... Sleepy? Sleepy kitty? Cutie? Still not getting lap time. Not today. Not after eating my food. Not after destroying my bread. You're not, you're not getting lap time today. No, no. Not today. One and a half. I think. I, I think. That is. Three. Megawatts. But I don't want to have to deal with one and a half. The throughput On a. Single. Boiler. Yes, that's the other part. I forgot. Lower that a little bit. Split. Preference right. Preference right! And then... Singular. There's this. Yes. This, this guy. This is the guy. Flip it. Flip it good. Go over there. And then you output ash stacks. Da 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 Just add red hot coke. Oh, yeah. Bye. Yeah, any, 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 uh, thoughts on getting the red hot coke in? Yeah, I thought not. Uh... Sure. There's the red hot coke in. And coke out. Okay. Now. 15 automated screeners. This will define, actually no, 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 no. Eight of these will do this conversion first. I'm sorry, what? Something ate my stuffs? Iron, glorious iron.
Bill. All right, there's graphite getting made. That's for the end of this, but I wanted to get all of that process done so I'm not distracted by needing to do it after I build the rest of the thing. Feeling like it's tacked on like an afterthought. All right, 15 of these first. in two sets of seven, because I would prefer if this is my maximal line. Just like we had before. Now this is going to Produce the tin ore rejects. I need two of this. Now, I will have a space of one between these just to make it a bit easier dealing with the uh, reject. get processed here. Um, hmm. Can I do eight? Eight is exact because this is the exact building size. So yes, I can have eight in the line very easily. Again. Yet again, copy paste us. And this makes grade one more grade one. Oh, it just combines there with all of the grade one. Ta da 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 da. Next. 15. Washers washing. This is where I need to decide whether or not I actually want to use these tailings because this is a lot of tailings. This is this is actually a fairly significant amount of tailings. So just just so just so we have this next Nextlet. Uh, do I have actually the next nextlet? Oh, that's just lovely. Next nextlet isn't until chem science. Chem science. Right. Sure. Do I have it previously? Probably not. So, uh, excellent plates. If I want one of them, one excellent plate, uh, I need, I need to have 1,500 tailings. to make 
one plate. Which, under normal circumstances, from tar is one to one ratio. It is, it is a one to one ratio. And that would mean 1875 Omnison. It's, uh... It's a 926 megawatt factory. To, uh, to make one Nexlet plate. Per Nexlet plate through chemical science packs until after having enough chemical science packs to get that upgrade that that tech that chemical this is the most difficult thing in this mod and this is bullshit It's bullshit in the standard pie playthrough that you even have to deal with this in the first instance. However, by this point, you do have access to, you know, normally mining with the digasaurs, the cute digasaurs. And we don't get that here, nor do we get a mechanism of consuming like meat or worker food to get the next lit or through some omnic method that is similar to the costs associated with mining the ore in pie I may, I may build that. I, I may build this as part of the design. Uh, I, or, I mean, what I'm saying is I may design an omni way of getting Nexlet ore that incorporates some of the costs for mining the ore. I'm, I may have to do that because it's so stupid that it doesn't exist. It, it is it is just dumb that it does not exist. Like, I'm probably going to make it need the food. Pro probably. Do we even get worker food? Where's worker food? Workers, food, basic, where's basic here? So the, the workers food is that cost to make two units of workers food. So you need to have a creature that is, that has regular blood to slaughter, AKA you need to have augs to slaughter. Um, to get guts, lard, skin, and blood. Otherwise, this, this, and you need to make the starch, which is, you know, that own, its own thing. You need Relesia and you need Fiberboard. Uh, which at this point in the game means creosote for treated wood for Fiberboard. Uh, yeah. So it's still a process to get it, but yeah, yeah, there, there, there needs to be a way that, that does 
Omni plus workers food. The issue is that that's very difficult because there's different levels of workers food that would give more output and there's the ability to use like just meat slash guts and all give different amounts. And then there's different levels of the uh, creatures. There's different creatures that you can use that each have their own variations of how much output and speed they have when using these things. Well, the, each tier has different speed and they consume the same amount of stuff ish but they give more ore per cycle and are faster so it's like uh how does one simplify this for omni like i get that it's hard but you it has to be done you can't just not have a way of getting next lit until blue science it, it, it's not it's not reasonable It is well beyond any semblance of reason. I'm going to have two lines of eight fed with water. It's illegal. It doesn't work either, but I could, I guess, move it inwards a bit. I still don't think that works. It's, a, it's an input and an output with the pipes here. Loaders in, loaders out. I, I, I understand that these are... Oh no, it's, it's perfect. Okay. Uh, that this is the end of the line and that I won't use splitters here. No. It walks! Here we go. Da 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 da. Next. Same thing but ball mills. I'll need an extra ball mill. I think, I think I've only built exactly the amount. Do. 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 I don't need those pipes, though.
Ah, right, duh. Uh, bah. I will void this tailings. That was, that is the decision. Decision made, it shall be voided. Okay, all that. To go into four of these. With other stuff. We need borax and graphite together, so the borax. What's up with graphite? Comes on down. Be another line for the and castings. Now you know that would help. Oh yeah, there's a factorial fax, Friday fax. Uh, not too much about it. That's important. Essentially, nothing that's important really. New logistics UI thingamadoop hickey. I saw it. Don't worry, I saw it. I saw this issue. I'm fixing it. Um. Yeah, it's just it's boring and dumb. Woohoo, we can we can have logistics control over an entire segment of belt without with only needing one one connection. Woo woo woohoo Woo woo hoo Yay The world is saved Yeah, that'll work. I, I think that that works right there. That, 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 that logistics should be fine. That just leaves the one and the final. Bring on the hot air, the hottest of hot air. Bring it down over here.
Everything is powered. Locomotive. We have a scroll bar already for these for these supply stations. We've we've got a significant scroll now. Ah, oh, goodness. How's it how's it looking here? We are making tin. The tin is flowing. Oh boy. Excellent. The tin shall flow for really. All right, so now I get to decide, do we really continue towards latex and rubber or do we go out of our way to set up the uh, additional circuits? So rubber or circuits i've been i've been i've been advertising it as working towards latex so if the expectation is that we are working towards latex then we should probably work towards latex regardless of the realistic thought of needing rubber sooner uh Yeah, uh, yeah, I think, I think ultimately I will just do rubber. Because we've made the tin here specifically as part of the process for getting into the Rauk food, though it's also used for a whole bunch of other stuff, clearly. It is used to circuits uh, the things that we haven't done that we've done so far haven't what we need for oh. <laughs> all right ah whoa Do I want? With fifty two, since when? Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. Lock playthrough, and this is the recipe that was made significantly easier and faster for the purpose of pie block. Where the early game is very much dependent upon Falky Line with machines that don't use power. It, get, it gives you a one second recipe for the spores, so yeah. Oh great, my audio's cutting in and out? Wonderful, when, uh, that's probably been doing it for a while now. Thank you for note saying now that that's, that that's a thing. That was, again, this stupid XLR cable falling out of the microphone because the, the, it, the microphone doesn't have a clip to clip on it. 
the the cable has a clip that's supposed to help clip it into place, but there's nothing on the microphone that it clips to, so it just keeps falling out. I guess it's supposed to probably be, you know, the other way. I, I prefer having the microphone, like, in my lap space below me, but I think it's actually probably supposed to be, like, up above. I just, I don't like it up above because that it, it mars my view more than it already does. So it's like, it, it, it wants to be, it wants to be like this, like upright. It, wa it, wa it wants to be like upright, but then, 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 yeah, the, you, you see the problem? <laughs> see, see the problem here? It's like it's, 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 it's in the way. And then what? I'm going to. It's going to be like way over here. It's going to be like way back there, way, way back there to be sort of out of the way. What, like what, 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 what? But is this better? Is this, is this better? Is it better? It's probably too, too, not, not loud enough back there. I, I, I should, I sound distant from here, right? Like pretty, pretty distant. Uh, maybe we can try this. I don't know. Cause that at least with, with this, at least, at least with this, it won't. Uh, it, it, with this, the the cable, the ca the cable shouldn't like fall out. It's also putting a bunch of tension on the cable for because the cable isn't long enough. Ah, uh, boogers. Yeah, th then you get into all this, like. Uh, needing to make lots of adjustments and then every every stream it's going to be like a bit off a bit off kilter and then if i lean back like you can't hear me you can't hear me if i lean back like the, the whole point of having it in my lap is that it's going to be consistently close to the source of my voice which you know i'm, I'm putting it back because i don't like it up there it's it's more it's more annoying than anything else. It it has to be here, which it it will remain a consistent distance from the source of my voice if it's here, because then I can I can lean back and forward a bit and still see. He saw that the lamp was empty for a bit, and now now he's he's trying to go to the lamp high, low. How are you? What are you what are you doing? There's no there's no room there. You're you're not getting lap time today. Sorry to say, Mr. Cat, but you're not you're not actually getting lap time today. You're heavy, you do know this, right? Mr. Cat, you 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 are heavy. Could you ow claw? You, could you could you not? He's purring. He's purring. Ah, uh, so, yeah. I just have to deal with the cord wanting to constantly fall out of the microphone. Ah, uh, anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Stuff? Random? Random nonsense? Oh yeah, I was saying that, yeah, I was I was used to the one second res recipe. Get off. Hey. Um, ow. Claws. No. No. Booger. Um. Cat cam. Da ba. Da ba. Da ba ba. There he is. What are you up to? Ollie cat. Ollie cat, what are you up to? Yeah, I need to I I need to have the microphone be close to my voice because I don't I don't talk particularly loudly, and I will not talk loudly, extremely loudly. 
I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be here and yelling. Feel like I'm yelling constantly. Like, no. That's, that's not okay. Not how I operate. Would you, would you not? Ollie, hurry. <laughs> he still wants lap. He's, he still, he still wants lap. He, he wants it more than anything. Yes, Rubby. Are you, are you actually going to be putting your whole weight against my back? Yes. Yes, he is. A claw in my arm. Are you putting holes in my shirt? Are you putting more holes in my shirt? The shirt already has holes. My, my, my poor Umbreon t-shirt. It's get, ow. It's getting holes. Yeah, there's, there's cat holes on it already. Ugh. One? Hold up. Refresh? <laughs> Alright, so how many have I made? Not 214. Thirty one. Thirty one. Okay. Uh, what's 214 over uh, or what what's 52 into how many how many times did 52 go into 214 a little over four great One three. Really? Well, F you too, game. That's the way you're gonna play it. That's the way we'll play it. How many is that? 24. The worst part about him being behind my head is that he's farting. I just thought you should know. What's the matter? Ahem. <laughs> Oh. 
spell. He's purring. He he is he is he is purring. He is very comfy. But he's not gonna get lap time. Not today. Hey. What are you doing? You're you're not going to be in my lap today, Mr. Cat. That's not going to happen. Not not for the whole of the day. You ate my food, destroyed my bread. You're not gonna you're not getting lap time today. Yeah. How long until we get seven more Fowlgy? That's that's the question. How long until seven more? Uh, so we've got this is going to be forty-eight. No idea how much this is going to ultimately make. After this, I'll see about uh, doing the native flora actually, because that's another that's another quick build. Now where are you going? Now, where do you think you're going? No, you're not getting on the lap. He's, he's, he's on the, he's on the chair arm. He's, he's migrated to the chair arm. No, you're not going to climb on the desk. Ollie. Booger. Booger cat. Mr. That's the wrong thing. That's the thing. Mr. Boogers. Okay. I'm not gonna, you're not gonna be in my lap. And snot up my shirt today, that's not gonna happen. No, no, no shirt snots today. From Mr. Cat. What? You want pets? You still want pets? Well, too bad. You're getting less of those. Hey, thingies, go. That was... That was most distinctly five and not seven, because two of them got trapped. There we go. Faster! It's faster. Woohoo. It's faster when it goes fast. And it's got the modules for it. How, lo how lovely way of expressing that. It's faster when it goes fast. Yes. Duh. Obviously. Four, five, six, seven. This is a process that's going to take literal ages, so. How about for once I do something actually off stream? In between streams, because I haven't been doing anything in between streams lately. And build. And, and place those things. Just let the game run and place those things. Uh, I need a source of infinite Omnite for the native flora. I think... Use this one. Native floor will be a very quick factory. Uh, because it is essentially the exact same as what we had just built with the stuffs and things. The tin here. Uh, not here. Where's, where, where is it? Here. It'll be essentially the same as the tin here. Uh, just more of it, pretty much. Uh, I 
Realistically speaking, I should actually copy this guy. Because this has all the correct ratios of things. Yeah. And this guy, I know, makes... Uh, I think this is 75. Yeah, it's five yellow belts. Exact. I think it's of the correct recipe. I just want to make a modification to it so that it's uh, converting the crushed stone into stone before voiding. Uh, you know what? No, because it's it's got all the voiding of the crushed stone built in uh, to the thing, so it's probably fine just the way it is. This little patch is not that great for volume. For, for density, it's it's 160s, 170s, which I mean, yeah, still, that's two compressed belts. It is a number greater than 150, so you know what? I should frickin' use it! He's, he's groomies. He's groomies now. He's cleaning his face. Mr. Groomies. Ah, yeah, I, I sort of need Omni Tractors. There goes all of my circuits. Oh well. Give me these. That is, that is correct. So in the end, this will be a fully compressed belt. Fully compressed yellow belt. Of compressed native flora. Uh, native flora will have a larger stack size than the moss. So I am actually okay with the native flora being stacked since its stack size is 500 it will be it will be factor 5 lower as a stacked item but it won't be problematically low moss would be problematically low uh, when it stacks becomes stack size of 10 here it'll be 100 Because but the way that I have things set up with the request stations is I could end up requesting more than the warehouse can hold with a low stack size on the item. I, I will already have to keep that in mind with low density structures because that... Uh, you know, it's in the name. Low density. They have stack size 10. Normally. They are normal. I don't actually need that station there. 
give me back those resources. I want those resources. They're mine. Those are my resources. All right, give me the Earthang. You know, okay, I see, I see. There are certain tiles that are lower and other tiles that are higher throughput, but the average will be 163. It may take a bit of time to reach that average. Uh, I don't use all of this, I think. Across 50. Yeah, I don't use I don't use 150. I don't even come close to using 150. So it's should it should be okay, no matter what. And yes, this is producing more overall. You're cleaning yourself now. At least you clean yourself. That makes you fundamentally better than your sister. <laughs> ah. Now where are you going? He's going up. He's making the whole thing shake. You gonna knock stuff off my bookcase? Jumping on my bookcase like that? Oh. Yoink. This will take a little bit of time as loader mechanics loader. Oh, hey, we got the thing. We actually got it within the stream time. Cool, you. Uh, researched Brauk upgrades. We are taking natural cycle. Obviously, every time. Uh, so... My existing infrastructure has slowed down as a result of this. So the stuff on the bus, the, the Vrauk on the bus will be moving more slowly, meaning I will have less rubber. Great, fantastic. Hey, couldn't you just do this instead? If you want rubber, yes. The the issue with this little build that I have here, that I have a couple of, is that this makes 0 0.2 rubber per second. That that is the issue. I don't want to do this res this process because this is extremely extremely inefficient. But it is a unit that I could copy paste to put onto the trains immediately because it makes everything here is local. You just need to provide it with Omnite. It needs the Omnite and that is it. Everything else gets made local. And it does consistently make 0 0.2 rubber per second. Just everything together local. So if I wanted to get 
rubber just on my trains. I could have this and have rubber on my trains. <sighs> Ollie? He puts all of his weight on my shoulder, by the way. All 14 pounds of kitty. Pushing on my shoulder. Rub pushing on the back of my head, giving me a headache. Anyway, uh, so we have the native flora now. Um, next. Trip back to the doggy. Get in the, get in my train. Uh, so in order to do na more native flora, I'll have to tap this down here, which has significantly more stuff available. Just tap into that, copy paste, etc., etc. Just grab that, copy it, paste it hundred million bajillion times, and I'll have as much native flora as I could ever desire. Just like Pi Block. Native flora is free! Just like the base game, native flora is free! In base pi. The, the only issue with native flora is, well, you do need it in pretty high volumes, and the collectors themselves are pretty big, so you do have a bunch of separate factories, my, or factories, separate mining areas for the native flora in a standard pie playthrough um yeah you, you do need a lot of them unfortunately oh look I, I managed to not even finish an entire line of the multiple lines that i have great uh but that should speed things up a little bit over here Okay. Number next for rubber. Shall we seaweed for agar? Shall we agar? Shall we agar? I think we will agar. I would actually normally just have a seaweed facility, but... I do want to try to save on my train throughput and just do it local because, you know, seaweed is a thing that can that should be done local. The problem is I need 75 per 15 agar. Uh, yeah, 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 that's a, that, that's a few, that's a few, uh, that won't fit in one. Uh, I, I don't believe that 375 seaweed crop facilities will fit in a single square with a station. I, I don't quite think that that is even remotely close to being possible, so... For now... The one fortunate thing about this is it does not need to be tied to uh, any Omnite. So it's one of the uh, area, one of the factories that does not need to be Omnite bound, which there will be, there will eventually be more factories that do not need Omnite than factories that need Omnite. Uh, I hope. That, that is the intent anyway. It's just at the beginning, you have to begin with the things that need the most basic resource, which is the Omnite. So begin with all the Omnite processing stuff and then use that stuff to build more complex things in all of the other factories that need the more complex things. He's leaving. Thank God. He's going to the window. Please stay. Please stay there. Please like be in the window. At least for the next ten, nine minutes. 
to the end of the stream. Thank, thank goodness. Uh, the, the issue is going to be when I end the stream and I move the microphone, how the rest of the day is going to be with, with him trying to get in my lap. Because once it's unoccupied, and all bets are off, he's going to be going for it. Yeah, all trees must die. All the trees must die. Horrible, horrific deaths. As painful as possible, please. Their screams are music to my ears. Each clack of the nanobots is another tree screaming its last death. Probably gonna eat up all my nanobot ammo with this, and it's filling up my inventory too, with all these logs and sap. Gee, remember when you used to be able to get sap trees out of the out of the trees? I remember that. You could just get a tree, sap tree from the trees. Or you know, it would, it would, be, it would be nice if we could just get trees from trees. That would be good too. That that would be nice if we just get trees from trees. But no, you have this whole uh, turret upgrade system for, for the for being able to actually, you know, like cut trees into wood, cut trees into logs. Ugh, that's the the sap trees gain that. At least I believe. I don't think. I don't think we get that for the regular trees though. You would think that with the regular trees, you would just make trees and cut the trees into logs. But no, 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 that's that's not how that works. You 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 get logs, not not trees. There there, there is a there there is an abstraction point where the uh, fast food forestry is growing and cutting the trees. It doesn't blah blah. What? My foot, my foot caught the wire. Any, any puzzles, puzzles? No, no cat, no cat, no, no lap for cat. Okay, how many can we realistically fit in the buildable area? All right, that's 18. Uh, and realistically speaking, it wouldn't be like that. There would need to be gaps. Uh, hello. There you go. And this doesn't even have enough space for the uh, Water, either. Oh, hey. Yeah, that, that would help, too. I need a fuel game. Ah, see, I may not be close enough to my mall's iron, but I'm close enough to the actual iron. Yeah, the tin is a problem, though. The tin is a, a, a way up there, and it stopped, and I don't know why it stopped. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Hello? Uh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Right. <sighs> ba -ba, who 
caught that? No one live caught that. No one live right now caught that. We have to fix that. Yeah, literally no one caught that live. Ollie. Get down. Get down. You're messing with my light now. He's just doing he's just doing all the things. All the things that are annoying. He wants to be as annoying as possible today, for whatever reason. I don't know why. Just the mo a very annoying kitty today. Significantly more than normal. Uh, so you need an input priority from the right. And this entire belt needs to be cleaned. It needs to be cleaned. Super cleany. On both sides. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to pick up everything. Till I stop seeing grade one coming in. Okay. You are fixed now. I declare you fixed. I'm gonna take all that tin, by the way. It's mine. Need more seaweed. Oh, I need limestone. Oh, joy. Oh, bliss. I need limestone. My limestone is, uh, here. Yeah, that's still a bit far away. Anyway, uh, I wanted to just, uh, I was just here to see, check exactly like how many forward thank you uh, I could realistically put into a single square so if I did that I did that now I need this I need this space for the water ideally uh, so if it's like this Technically do one more there, but you know, extra, extra room is always good. So theoretically, in an entire square, we have uh, 17 by 14, which is 238 max. 238 max. So we cannot do 375 or 75 for 15 per second of the agar. We could have it though. So we will instead do seven and a half. And that should leave enough room. That should leave enough room for the other infrastructure in this square once I'm finished. So 187. Is the goal. Well, wouldn't you know? It's eleven. 
11 by 17 is 187. Who knew that off the top of their head? That that's a multiple of 11 and 17. Ah. That it's 11 by 17. Who knows their multiplication tables, like, through 20. I don't. Not off the top of my head. I never memorized that. Lucky that I know to 10. I don't know, over 10. I, I didn't bother anything over 10. 12s I sort of got, but not, not all the way. To 17. Anyway, uh, that is the end of the stream, though. We have, yet again, not gotten, it doesn't feel like we've done much, but um, we have gotten Fowagy, we have gotten Tin Plates, that took the bulk of the stream, and we are working on Agar here, or the Vrauk food. It, like, we have made progress, it's just the progress is fairly slow when building at this much scale. With that, we have reached the end. Uh, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been a talking show, but if you've enjoyed the stream, do all the social stuff, and I will be back on Tuesday to continue with the agar and work on rubber at scale-ish at scale. Uh, uh, though it would probably be better to work on the circuits first, uh, whatever. Whatever, uh, we'll work on the circuits after. We'll be in a pretty good position to, to do the circuits after. I will see you all then, as I have Mr. Cat just trying to get on my lap. But he's not going to get lap today. That's that's not happening after eating my after eating my bread. <laughs>